Hey, Mike with Miter Sykes here. Gonna go over what sold. So let's get started. First of all, this House of Lords Demons Down cassette tape. This sold to Patricio for $3.50 plus shipping. Thank you, Patricio. Then we have this Vintage Whack and Hunt security badge. There's the badge number right down there. And this sold to Sam for $15. Plus shipping. Thank you very much, Sam. This Buffalo David shirt. This sold to Barry for $14.50 plus shipping. Thank you very much, Barry. And then we have this Hawaiian shirt here. This is a Pierre Cardin. Um, it's 100% cotton. And it's yellow with some blue and green palm trees all over it. That's a 3XL. And that sold to Richard for $13 plus shipping. Thank you very much, Richard. Lastly, I have these Arizona jeans that are going out. These are 40 by 32, and they are original boot cuts. These went to William for $7.50. Thank you very much, William. I went to a game store, picked up WCW, First NWO World Tour. This is for personal use. I didn't care about the label or anything. I got a discounted because of that. I picked up these 10 cassette tapes. Sticks, Doobie Brothers, Ted Nugent, Jimi Hendrix, Foreigner, Hampton, Crash Test Dummies, White Snake, Dire Strait, and uh, this is a Kid Rock, Ball with the Ball, and Cowboy Single. It's not very common. There's only two of them listed on eBay, none sold. Lowest one listed is for 50. I'm probably going to put it up for a lot less than that, but it's going to pay for everything I purchased today. And then all of these that are sold are going to be profit, although I am probably going to keep the crash test dummies. We've had practically no rain this whole week, and it's even going to get into the 90s this weekend. So I've been watering it every day. Uh, the fish pond, a lot of that water has been evaporating out, so I've been refilling that every day, or topping it off, I should say. Today it was probably down about six inches. So picked up a few shirts yesterday. I did thrift these. Um, and it was yellow tag day. So all of these were a buck. Um, it's a J. Crew. It's a flannel. Slim size large, but it's this uh, peach and gray long sleeve button down. We'll get that listed today. Uh, another plaid. This is a. <laughs> St. John's Bay, but it's uh, Trekker Crosshatch. So sometimes, you know, St. John's Bay is very common, very low brand, but sometimes if you get that extra stuff in there, Trekker uh, Crosshatch, um, I'll be able to make more than my dollar. I paid for it for sure. But it's this peach um, with a little bit of green and it looks like black uh, plaid pattern. Men's size large. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And then I picked up this. Uh, it's Zero Restrictions Golf Outerwear. Made in the USA. Size large. And it's got the ZR embroider there. And on the back, it's like a little windbreaker. Um, lightweight, breathable windbreaker. It's got Eagle Creek. It's one of the golf courses. Um, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. Um, I should be able to get about 10 bucks for that. And those shirts before, uh, I don't know what I'm going to list them for. We'll figure that out. I'll look them all up. Um, this is Alexander Julian Colors. Uh, it's a 2X. It's a green dress shirt. Again, tag deal. These shirts only cost me a buck plus tax. Um, so we'll get all those listed. I feel like I'm missing a shirt. One, two, three, four. I am, I am missing a shirt. I will go find it. Okay. Lastly, I picked up this Dockers Polo. It is a uh, extra large, 100% cotton. Again, on the tag sale. It's just a little stuff on here. You gotta pick that off. But should be able to get a few bucks for that. Um, definitely gonna profit on this. All you do is sell one shirt, and it covers everything. And the rest is... Thank you very much. Have a great day.